Lindsay, welcome to the back of the truck. My co-instructor for aerobics. God bless us all. Mostly you, because you're with me. <laughs> yeah, great. So this month in Indonesia, we have been staying on the island of Java outside of the city of Bandung and it has been um, just a really incredible month of being able to have a little taste of different opportunities to serve and contribute to the people of Indonesia. One of the specific ways that we have been able to really invest in this community is to be a part of uh, going uh, to a mental health facility, um, a center for individuals with different needs where um, we can love the people there and support them. Many of the individuals of the adults who uh, reside at the center um, do not have family nearby or family who um, are willing to come and visit those individuals and so uh, to be able to go and be a part of that community of the individuals there as if they are our family and we are their family has been really remarkable. And specifically the ways that we have served at uh, this particular community is um, leading aerobics. One of my teamies, Mackenzie and I have led aerobics which has placed us a bit out of our comfort perhaps. Well, more me maybe, but we've, we've navigated through it. This is the course. I would say the world race offers a lot of opportunities to attempt to uh, um, take on responsibilities and roles that are a little bit outside of one's natural uh, Typical skill level. I have no musicality. Oh, I shame my mother. And Mackenzie, too. I'm already off. <laughs> Make sure to protect the lower back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna get my tricks <laughs> Mackenzie was a great um, counterpart for creating an aerobics for. Um, the individuals there. I think that um, they had a lot of fun and we learned some new skills with aerobics. We have also um, been able to lead different games and activities with the residents there. We have led Simon Says and Charades. Simon Says is um, a particularly uh, fun game to play with the people there. Well, we, we were just removed from a very intense game of Simon Says. In the first round, we're out. We're out. We, we're the only ones out, actually. It's a little, uh, it's, a, it's a blow to my pride, but I understand. Fair enough. All's fair in love and Simon Says. <laughs> and an opportunity to use Indonesian as well as English. Using art and art therapy is um, something else that is practiced at this center. And so um, working alongside the residents and um, creating art and masterpieces out of watercolor and collage materials has been something that um, is really unique and um, just a really meaningful way to interact with individuals um, and communicate um, outside of language barriers. I would say that um, being a part of that community and um, spending time there each week has um, been a really tremendous blessing for our team. This particular community uh, participates in gatherings and um, singing and so um, we've been able to lead in that context as well as um, serve as speakers and encouragers for the people there. Public speaking is a little out of my own comfort, but um, I was able to uh, practice and share um, one of the days that we were there. And as nerve-wracking as it was, I think it was a blessing for me to be able to share. And hopefully I 
blessed others. We've been able to lead a lot of the singing components and so um, some of my teamies are very musically gifted and have been able to um, bring instruments and their um, voices to bless the people there and we have all um, taking on the challenge to learn songs in Indonesia and to uh, be able to fully embrace um, our time here in this beautiful country and with this incredible nation. Overall, I would say that um, being a part of this mental health center and community there has really blessed our entire team, Team Kimberlite. Um, I have loved going there and building relationships with some of the people there um, to be able to love and care for the residents and let them invest in us and share their gifts and their hearts with us has just been such a privilege and um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to have been able to spend time there and I'm grateful that all of you have contributed to that as well by um, supporting me or um, supporting my teamies uh, as contributors to their fundraising. So thank you so much for um, learning more about uh, one of the areas of service of which we've been a part and for your support and direct contribution to um, what that has looked like. It's, it's really, it's been a blast. Anyone who knows Danielle Miller-Schuster knows a significant joy and vivacious brightness. I think Danielle is just a magnificent example of positivity and love and care and is um, a really dedicated, committed Illinois State Redbird. And um, I have had the privilege to um, work with Danielle a little bit when I was a graduate student and graduate assistant at Illinois State University. And um, I don't know. I don't know how Danielle, uh, Danielle, I don't know how you do all the things you do and do it with such joy and energy all the time and um, you just have a way to make everybody around you feel uplifted and filled with joy and that is such a gift, um, a gift from the Lord certainly and I feel blessed and incredible um, to have been able to be touched by that and um, I just thank you for the way you share your spirit and the way you are such a support to me being a part of the world race and um, for me as a person and a professional a world racer really you are an incredible support and it means so much to me Danielle